Finally, we are doing ranging channel. So in this lesson 38, let's get into the channel uh, channel pattern. So anytime you have a ranging channel, you need to know there are two types of ranging channel. So we have a ranging channel that, yes, the market is ranging like this, up, down, up, down, up. And then the market breaks the downside and continues going down. So this is one of the ranging channel. We call it ranging channel break at support. And then now we have the second ranging channel that the market is ranging up, down, up, down, up, down, and eventually it breaks above. So you need to be very, very keen on the channel that you are trading. So many people, for me, what I do, if I spot a ranging channel, I will use a box, you can see, I will use a box and the box means that uh, the box has the same support and resistance. And even here, I will use the box. So the box helps me to be able to understand uh, which direction the market is breaking. You know, sometimes if you just put a line, it is not magnifying uh, when the break happens. So what you need to understand that there are two types of uh, break. Again, if the market break, it goes this distance. So if this market breaks, it will go to this distance. The distance of the range is what the market covers if it breaks. So the distance that the actual distance that the market goes is measured like that. If the market breaks again here, it will go that distance above. See? Now, another thing that people don't even pay attention, that's why maybe the ranging channel does not work as a pattern. Many people, what they don't understand is that there are times the ranging channel can be, this is one of the best points. And um, the, the, the ranging channel always have to take profit. So we have take profit one and take profit two. So this is one and this is two. One is the guaranteed one, two is never guaranteed. So if it breaks at support, again, we have take profit one and take profit two. One is guaranteed, two is not. So ranging channel, it has to have to take profit one and two. Now, something people don't understand, you can have, these are some, and I have, I think I've seen many cases ranging channel doing like this. So it's up, down, up, down, up, and then the market breaks. And instead of coming up, the market continues going down. So the question is what causes the market? Yes, it has broke arranging, but still refuse to go down, uh, to go up. And like it changes, it means. And how would you spot such a, such a channel? And then there's a market that, yes, it's going down. Yes, it's going down. Yes, it's going down. Yes, it's going down. But when it comes down, it breaks. And instead of continuing in the direction, it changes. It's like a fake breakout. So for this lesson, you need to understand that, yes, you're trading ranging, but one, the ranging can be actual range, which is uh, which will go like this one. This is the, the, the ranging A, which is can go to direction. If it breaks at support, it means it will go to the support. If it breaks at resistance, it means it will go to the resistance. But there is the second type of ranging where it breaks at resistance. It shows it has broke at resistance, but fails to go upward or it breaks at support and fails to go at the support. So what you need to understand is that because I have a mentorship program that I charge $400, for those who are online students and you want to buy the course, the course is available uh, to buy 12 modules, five episodes per a module, that is 60 videos. If you want to buy, this is a whole module where I have talked about ranging channel and the BWS strategy, that's what I use on uh, the ranging channel. So what we will do in this video, because these are free lesson, I have to mind uh, what I'm giving for free. So what I'm giving for free, we will learn about this, the channel that completes. But for this one, the one that breaks and then automatically goes down, this one is for my students. So if you want to buy that course and know how ranging channel works, how would you know in advance? Because for us, with our, with our strategy, we already know the one that will go uh forward and we don't we already know in advance using the bw strategy so in this lesson kindly note that i'm only showing you one side of ranging channel there are two sides 
there is the one that breaks and continue with the direction and the one that give us a fake breakout. So for the one that give us a fake breakout, that's why I'm saying it is for a, a paid, it's a paid premium uh, like, like service. So if you want to know that, well and good. So we will first try to do one, the first one that I'm showing you. So you, you spot a ranging channel. These are very, very, very good ranging channel. And you see the ranging channel, I will first start because this is the uh, lesson that I will build it up. I will even show you how to trade ranging channel on weekly, ranging channel on daily, ranging channel on four hour. So I have started to show you how do you go about ranging channel on monthly. So we will start where monthly is very, very visible. And you know, once monthly breaks, there is no time frame alignment because monthly is the overall time frame. So we have this ranging channel on the monthly, very clear. Uh, and the, it has everything that I've said. So this ranging channel, first we need to measure the distance of this ranging, and don't don't uh, draw your box. Uh, not not including the weeks. The weeks are included. So this is the distance that that the market will go if it agrees to uh, to break. So at this point, nobody knows if this ranging will break at a upper side or downside. That's why we are told ranging channel is the most patient, I think, patient strategy that I've seen out there. It requires a lot of strategy and it's simple because you're waiting for either side to break for you to react. So you draw like that. And then now we are drawing TP1, which is guaranteed. I've said TP2 is not guaranteed, but I've seen many ranging getting to TP2, but I always advise you to take TP1 and then TP2, you only trade very, very carefully and uh, very, very uh, a lot. So here with this ranging now, we only waiting for the market to break either side. So we are hopeful that the market can break on the upper side or if that resistance still is rejected, it can still break on the downside. Like that is what we are, we are we are looking for. So these are ranging channel on a, on a monthly. So you can understand that when this ranging channel, the market entered in this ranging channel, it was Monday, 1st of March, 2010. And now still in the ranging, it is Thursday, 1st of August, 2013. So they are ranging that are crazy. This market stayed for one place for three good years. Three good years, the market was not able to break above or below. And that's how crazy ranging markets are. So if you spot a ranging market on monthly, what I can advise you guys is that don't, don't, um, don't go to daily to wait for break. Break will come from the monthly. So in the month of, uh, so this is a new month, month of September 2013, people were waiting for that range to break. So you will wait for that range to break. And as you're waiting, you're just asking yourself, what will I do if the range breaks? So this is what happened. Once you come back after one month, you found that that the range has broke. So there are so many ways, so many ways to trade when the range uh, breaks. And that's why I'm saying there are so many ways. The market can retrace back. But for me, the, I think the best way for us as students and the paid mentorship, I teach them BWA. So you will apply BWA. But for those who you are learning for free, the first way that I can tell you for free is that the market will come here and retest. So once the market retests, you can now go to lower time frame and start looking for buy opportunity. So in this case, if you entered the market, if you put, you came and put your buy order around uh, the half, it's just saying that this market, I'm, I'm believing it can come to retest there. This is 205 pips. So let's see if the market came to retest. Did the market came, come to retest back? So let's see what happened. So you can see the market came down, even if it never retested exactly. Let's see. It never, I don't think it touched, but this is the area. So on the lower time frame, like four hour, once you understand that the market is on this area on four hour, you will look for a pattern. And that's what I'm saying for us in our class, we use BW, which is very easy. But because I have to tell you how to trade, you will use a pattern. So you will look for a double bottom or a 
a cup and handle or a ring, another ring that has broke on the upper side. All along, the market gave an entry here and it had come down this area. Now we need to understand what really happened after that. So you can see now what I'm telling you for free, what I'm telling you, if you have a double bottom, ah, uh, if you have a ranging channel and it has broke, you just go and look for a pattern. Can you see we have a double bottom? So that double bottom is what will give you a guarantee that you can now trade this channel comfortably. And that's why I'm saying, I will only teach you on this one. And the other one where the market, yes, it broke, but what really made it to go down, that one is for my students. So this one I can teach you, I can tell you what to do. And you see, if the market breaks and you know it, it will come back to retest, you are looking for either a pattern. And now we have seen there's a pattern there and this becomes our neckline. That's our neckline. And then we have our, we have our half. So this is how the market looks like. So the market has, uh, it, it's at the half and that half has been broken. Let's see if that half was broken. Let's see if that half was broken. So the half, let me activate it. That is where our half is. If we try to zoom, I don't know if it is broken or not. If we try to zoom, if that half is broken, you can see that they, they broke half and you already have a clue that the market broke. Um, You have a clue that the market broke uh, on the monthly. So you for you, you are looking for an entry. And you see, for those who are trading monthly time frame, for those who are trading monthly time frame, their take profit is way above. But for those who are trading daily only, they are just trading that double bottom, their first take profit will be where? Their first take profit will be at the neckline, then they wait neckline to be broken, then they wait all that. But those who are trading uh, this pattern on the monthly time frame, they are waiting. Let, let's let's understand, let's figure it out where our half is. Our half is You see where our half is, guys. So I want to show you anyone who is trading from the monthly time frame. Can you see that? Uh, that is the distance of the monthly time frame. That's the distance of the monthly time frame. So our half of the monthly time frame, where I told you is a guaranteed. The half of the monthly time frame is this, and that's why I like putting color green for me to understand. So that is the green line. Notice this: the market is coming that area. That is our overall. But on the daily, we have a double bottom. And this double bottom, that's how the patterns are also intertwined. So the market has a double bottom. And uh, the double bottom, if it continues to break, so we have a double bottom. So the double bottom is just there to help you on trading the channel and even to give you more confidence. And minding that a double bottom is on an uptrend, make it easier for you to trade. So you're not even worried. And the double bottom has broke half. So the first take profit is up to here. But if you want to trade, uh, if you want to trade, what do we call it? If you want to trade in levels, you will use double bottom. But if you want to trade like this is monthly and it has to go because in levels, there's the TP3 for the double bottom. Because what this double bottom can do, it can com it can complete uh, uh, the double bottom. But you understand, we have two patterns. We have a ranging channel that broke and we have a double bottom. So let's see what happened after this market, after the half has been broken. So the market continues. So if you enter, we were just looking entry using daily. So if this is where we are entering and targeting up to the half of the bigger ranging on the monthly, how much would we have made? If the market hit TP, 
the market will give us 678. If at all, we are not even aware of the ranging channel on monthly and we target to the neckline, we'll get how much? 210 pips. Still, it's good money. So let's see what happened. So the market starts to go down, go down, go down. And you see, at the end of the day, the, chan the, the double bottom has given you a go ahead. So even you're not worried. So you have folded that trade. So let's see what happens after that trade. So the market goes like that. As, at, the, at the end of the day, I think what was happening here for how many days, it was just psychology trading. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six days were psychology trading. You like you are being given a psychology kind of trading and you are being told, are you sure you want to buy? Are you sure you want to buy? And you can see TP1 of the double bottom, TP2 has been hit. We were not able to enter TP1 because it was just a green candle breaking half. Now TP2, TP1 to TP2, it has hit. And let's see how did this market uh, from that area uh, proceeded. So the market proceeded, broke the neckline, come back and you can see the market has come back to our half to touch. So if you want to trade in levels, you would have taken your take profit and then you trade now this double bottom. Why? Because you're not a swing trader. But there's someone who is trading according to monthly. According to monthly. So according to monthly, they are still holding their trade. So these people, they hold their trade. Let's see what happened. They hold, they hold. And TP2 for the double bottom has hit. These people are still holding and they are almost hitting the TP of 600 and something pips. And the TP has been hit. So this trade, you had more confidence because of arranging of monthly. And if we can see and check, did the market hit the last take profit of the ranging? Let's see what really happened. Did the market hit the take profit? So if you trade in levels, you will be trading, you come out and you can see the market actually completed. So if we go to the monthly time frame, you can see what we used for us to trade that ranging was the double bottom, but there's someone who saw the market, uh, the double, the ranging on the monthly, and they did what? They saw this ranging, they entered by, and it completed. So it is not easy to trade for months holding the trade. For those people who like swinging, this was a very easy trade for them because after after the first month, the, the TP that is guaranteed was hit, and then they waited for another two months for the complete. So if there's someone who waited for the whole two months or the whole take profit, they were making 1,421 pips. So that is a very, very good trade for swing traders. Now I want to show you what I was telling you. So this one, I have shown you if the market breaks, you go and look for a, a double bottom or the market will retrace. Now I want to show you an example. Not always the market will do exactly what I've shown you. And I said, let me do it because once I do it, you'll, you'll understand why I'm saying that. So this is a very good ranging market. If now that's always only what you know, and you think, oh, this is a ranging, it has broke, it is monthly. We were taught if the market breaks ranging, it will go fast this distance to the half and then complete. So for you, you're coming with, uh, the market will, will hit my half and then complete to the to the the full distance now the problem is if you trade the same way without understanding the difference and that's why bwa strategy is very very important so this trade yes is a double uh, a channel and this channel is very very good so if you waited for the market to retest here to enter this is what happened to this ranging channel so the market yes it retested can you see it retested and i know many people entered a buy, but instead of this market now going back up, the market sold completely. So the question is what really made the same ranging market? And if you can see, yes, we had this ranging market on the, on the left, we didn't have an obstacle. So we could not have said, oh, a double, a double top has been confirmed or what really made this market to go down. The only thing that made this market to go down from my perspective, I don't know from your perspective, is BW strategy because once I understand that I can apply that strategy to tell me in advance that this market is going down, so not to pay attention on a buy, it becomes more, more accurate. 
So yes, I have taught you one way of trading ranging channel, but it is not the only way. So once you find your ranging channel that has broke, you will be going to look for retest uh, for market to either activate a double bottom or a double top if it's ranging channel break at support. So you would be going to wait for activation. And then now from there, you can build your case and that buy will be easier for you to trade. I hope this video was helpful. Anytime you spot a ranging market, just do that what I've told you. So the next video I will do, I'll do a ranging channel on weekly and you can see how that will go. Thank you so much guys for watching. Make sure you like this video, comment and subscribe. Love you.